No drill press, no problem. This is the Miles Craft Drill Mate, a portable drill press. This is awesome because it's about $40. And if you don't have the budget for a full size or even a bench top drill press, or if you don't have the space for a drill press, this might help you out because you can use it with any drill that you have, half or three eighths inch chuck. Before we jump into this, just know that Milescraft did send me this to check out, but no money changed hands and I'm not keeping this. This will be given away in our quarterly two before nation supporter uh, giveaways. If you want to know more information about that, I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's jump into this. Assembly is super easy. Literally just a couple of bolts and it's together, ready to go, three to be exact. There's two bolts that stick in from the bottom that lock into the angle lock nuts that are underneath. All you have to do is slide that bolt into that, push it up through there, and then twist these two uprights until it's tightened down where you want it. And what's great about that is you can loosen these off and then you can change the angle that you need to drill a hole. So if you needed to take this to a, a job site or a project where you couldn't take the drill press to that project and drill an angled hole or even a straight hole, this is where this really shines, I think. Now the angle nuts under there do have some teeth on them, just like a gear would, so that it will lock into place at any of these measurements there, 90, 75, 60, and 45 degrees. So you can really get some good angles on your holes if you need it. Now this does have its own chuck on there, so you get your own key to that chuck. We'll talk about how to store that in a minute so you don't lose it. And then also the base is nice. It has a little rubber feet on there to keep it from slipping around. And the base has a couple of unique features that I'm going to show you. And then of course it has a nice handle to hold it so that you keep it steady while you're drilling your holes. One thing I think a lot of people miss on something like this is you can basically add to it to make it more functional for you, just very simply. So I just took this piece of MDF. I would actually recommend plywood, but I had this scrap piece of MDF laying around, so that's what I used. Cut it eight by eight inches. You can use it whatever size you want, 10 by 10, 12 by 12. Uh, the bigger, obviously, the more stable, but it's gonna take up more room. Then I took this Forstner bit, it's an inch and seven eighths. You can choose two inch, inch and a half. Just make it a bigger hole than what I'm gonna drill. Drill it all the way through here, and that's gonna allow me to see where I'm drilling, basically. That's gonna give you a lot of stability on something like this because the footprint or the base of this is kind of small. So if you're trying to drill holes on thinner stock, like a you know, one by two, one by three, uh, you're gonna need a little bit more stability there. Other than that though, if you're just drilling holes on wider boards, you're not gonna have any problems. Now drill press, you have a fence, right? And you can adjust that fence wherever you need it. Well, this, you can do the same thing, but inverted. Because I was inverted. To add a fence to this is very easy. First, I needed to mark exactly where I wanted my holes. I'm gonna lay out a set of holes that are one inch from the edge of the board and then every two inches down this board. And then once I have those lines laid out, literally I just set the drill guide on top, kind of get close to the center and then hold this scrap piece of fence underneath. And then you just kind of wiggle it around until you find center. Once it's hitting center consistently, I use some squeeze clamps here just to hold it until I put a little, couple of these small F clamps on there. And then there you have repeatable accuracy from the edge of the board all the way down through there as you can see i'm gonna check it with my woodpecker square here perfect like you're not gonna get much better than that and where this is handy is specifically what i remember is when i was first starting out building a dog kennel i needed to reset or inset some rebar in the boards basically making a cage for the dog and so i needed to put those a certain distance apart and i wanted them all to be uniform i did it by hand i remember the holes being off angle this is going to drill a perfect 90 degree hole consistently from the edge of the board. It's just gonna make my work look better, uh, more consistent, and it's just gonna be easier to work with than trying to do it by hand. What's great about that is if you have a project you're working on, you can pretty much build any size base that you want for this, just out of some scrap plywood, and then you just use a scrap board as a fence, and then you just literally can set distances like that. It's very easy to do. Another place this is absolutely perfect for, where I wish I had it, is when I was doing breadboard ends and locking the breadboard ends with dowels from the top, you put a piece of tape on your drill bit and you drill down, that works okay. This would work much, much better and make sure those holes are perfectly 90 degree to the top of the table. It would just work better than just you hand holding the drill. So any project like that or application like that, this is where that's gonna really shine. You could also use this in masonry or around the house. If you have to drill a hole through a brick, you wanna make sure it's perfectly 90. You can set this up and that'll do that for you. Keep everything nice and straight. It's just a good way to add stability and accuracy to any regular handheld drill. They have self-centering built into it on each side. When you twist it, it's just gonna lock in, especially on the edge of a two by or maybe a one by. Then all you have to do is twist it. It'll lock into that self-center. Then you can just drill holes right in the center without ever having to measure anything, depending on where you want it along the edge, of course. But in the center, you don't have to worry about measuring center. 
Another thing I like about this is it does have uh, notches, 90 degree and 45 degree for round stock. So if you wanted to drill a hole in a dowel rod or anything like that, it's easy just to inset there. It's not gonna move on you. It kind of gives it a nice resting place for there. It's a nice feature they added, I think. Another thing I like that they added on this was the depth stop. I do appreciate that fact because just like in those two before, I'm able to consistently set the right depth. So if I was putting rebar in there for the dog kennel, I know how long I'm gonna need the rebar on each piece. So if you're doing anything where you need the specific depths, no matter what you're building, I like that there is a depth stop and it works well. It slides well, it moves well, and it is removable in case you need to go all the way full depth of this, as well as the spring is removable. I do like that the spring is on there and it does give you some feedback. And when you, after you press down, it basically resets the drill, very similar to a drill press. With the spring and stop block installed, you're getting 6.3 inches of travel. So you'll be able to drill quite a deep hole, but if you need more, you can take off the spring and the stop block. That's gonna give you one and three quarter inches extra travel there. So it gives you quite a bit of travel for drilling a very deep hole, especially if you have like Forster bits with a longer shank on them, anything like that. When setting the angles, I, I wish it was a little smoother operating, if we're being honest. I think that it's kind of a little clunky setting those angles, uh, but once you get them set, you just have to loosen these uh, upright bars off, and then once you have those loosened, you can basically move it anywhere you want and then tighten it back down. But I do wish it glided a little smoother. It works, it just could be better, I think. The handle on here is a nice add-on to give you a little extra something to grab onto, especially if you're having to push in a little harder, especially if your bits are a little duller, uh, if they're older, things like that. Sometimes you gotta give it a little more pressure. I like that there's a handle to hang on to. And the handle is removable if it's in your way. You know what time it is. Power tip time. Now, I told you I would show you how not to lose this chuck, this tiny little thing. Can you even see it from there? I lose these all the time, or I did, until I figured out they stick to a rare earth magnet. And so now I keep a rare earth magnet on my actual drill press and you can take it and stick it to one of these guides or uprights. And then that way you'll actually know where it's at the next time you need it. So when you store this in a drawer or put this on the shelf, put that magnet on there, stick your chuck. That way you'll always have your chuck handy. So is this a complete drill press replacement? Absolutely not. I mean, there's a reason why there are drill presses on the market. Otherwise they would just be these on the market, right? These have their place, but if you don't have the budget or the space, this is a very good alternative. I've been impressed with how well it works, how accurate you can get your holes, and especially distances and depths. I like the depth stop. It's just a very good alternative work with any drill. The included chuck on the Mousecraft drill guide will accept up to 3 8 inch diameter bits. Easy to use, well-made, and budget-friendly at under $40 almost all the time. I'll put a link in the description below to this one if you want to check it out, as well as my wind drill press if you want to check that out. Uh, but for the most part, I think this is a very good, especially beginner-friendly drill press alternative. Is this a complete replacement for the drill press? Well, no, it's not. But it is a very good alternative. And what I like about this is it's portable. So even if you have a drill press, there are times, many times, that I have needed to be able to drill a hole in a project that's already made and I can't put it on the drill press. And I wanted that hole to be accurately deep as well as straight. So that is where this would come in super handy. Being able to get repeatable, accurate results is the key to woodworking because once you figure that out, then the world is your oyster, as they say, because you can repeat the same thing, you can make the same projects, you can get really tight fitting joints and all sorts of other stuff. And having things like this will up your game. Could be a game changer for you. You can turn your circular saw into a track saw using this guide right there. I made a whole video on it. This is a fantastic product. Click that box, go watch that video. Click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist bump. Thank you for watching.